What's going on guys, this is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound and welcome back to a fire ass serum tutorial. Right now we're gonna be covering this insanely heavy dubstep machine gun bass. It's perfect for like rhythm, tear out sounds. And guess what, when you stick around to the end of this video, you're gonna be learning so many different things. Like I've never seen this style of sound design covered in any other YouTube video. So you're definitely gonna be learning a lot. Now real quick, before I show you the sound, I gotta quickly let you know that my ultimate serum masterclass is closing down in just about two days. So that being said, if you wanted to hop in, you wanted to master serum and become a sound Design beast click the link in the description down below because it's closing on Tuesday May 12th and I don't know when I'm going to be reopening it so hop in while you still can link in the description down below anyway this is the sound super super heavy put on your headphones baby because this is it oh yeah that's good Okay guys, so jumping right in here, we're gonna be using a different style of sound design as I was just talking about, right? So starting ourselves off, we're gonna turn on all three oscillators. And this right here, we just wanna be creating like the most heavy effect possible. So we're just gonna be using a lot of different oscillators to get a bunch of different noise going. A lot of different frequencies clashing, just a lot of sound, okay? So we're gonna turn up the noise level all the way up to like 72% or something. Okay, so we got a lot of noise in the sound. Then we'll go for oscillator A, we're gonna grab our creeper wavetable out of the spectral folder. See, there's a lot of information in this waveform. It's really, uh, really kind of grimy, a little bit vocally, and that's perfect, okay? And then finally for oscillator B, we're gonna keep it simple. We're going to go to our square waveform in basic shapes. That way we have a little bit more of a grimy tone to it, right? That squarefied type sound. So we'll turn on the level just a little bit for that. So now in the filter, things get pretty fun here. When we go into the combs, we're gonna be using the combs to create that metallic machine gun effect, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the cutoff just like that. We're not even gonna touch it. We're gonna leave it right there at like 425 hertz and we'll turn up the resonance like 98%. Now we really want to drive this thing up. We want to give it a bunch of distortion, right? Um, and the first thing we're going to do is obviously turn up the drive to get that effect. And one of the things we're going to do to kind of correct the tone a little bit is turn up the damping. And we're going to actually turn that on for oscillator B as well. So you guys can really hear how the sound is coming together now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our envelope one because this is the, the global master amplitude, uh, you know, envelope. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to make it really, really simple. We're going to leave the attack just like it is. And we're going to turn down the sustain to minus infinity, like zero, right? And we'll just turn this down to 115. Okay, we, we're not really gonna touch the release, but this right here is how we just created the machine gun effect. We just created like the envelope of like the, like the, the explosion part type. So you draw it out with your notes. We're not gonna be using an LFO. It's a lot different this way. So this is what I mean, guys. A bunch of different stuff that you can stick right into your sound design toolbox from watching this video. Aren't you glad that you're watching this, right? Um, so. Anyway, really, really a lot of benefits that we, uh, there's like a lot of reasons why we do it like this. And I'm not really gonna break down, but more or less when you guys experiment with making these sounds, you'll understand for yourself, right? It doesn't matter what I tell you, it matters more from your own experience, you know what I mean? So taking this a step further, we're now going to turn on our tube distortion. You know, turn down that mix to halfway, so we have like half distorted, half not, okay? And uh, guys, like I said, you know, we don't want it 100% here. We want it halfway because now we just made the sound even more like fuller because we have a distorted part. We added like more information into the sound. We have a distorted part and we have like a, a dry normal part. Okay, and then we go into our filter and we're gonna turn on another combs filter. The combs filter is just gonna be adding this texture in, man. So why not stick on another one? Turn up that resonance. Perfect. And we could turn on, uh, we, we won't turn that on just yet. Stay, we gotta chill with the multiband. Uh, phaser, turn on that rate to zero. Turn on the depth to zero and turn on the frequency to zero because again, if you guys follow my tutorials, you understand this is like the easiest way to create like more of a guitar type processing effect. 
See, and we'll just turn on the feedback a little bit so it's a little bit less intense. Perfect. And now we'll stick our hybrid dimension now under this. Okay, we'll just, yeah, detune it a little bit, turn on the mix on that. We're not gonna touch the dimension because now we're just gonna go multi-band compressor. We could even turn down the threshold depending on how crazy, you, how heavy, how intense and compressed you want it to get. And uh, finally, what we'll do is we'll just finish off the sound with a delay, okay? We're going to go uh, put this on link. We're gonna make it a short delay, turn off BPM sync, by the way. And we'll just put this to like 15. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, and turn up that mix and we just added in that like metallic-y tone. Now finally for post-processing, um, I just used a multipass from Kilohertz. From, this was included with Phase Plant. And um, anyway, that's basically like an OTT compressor, kind of similar, the function of that. And then I just cut out a little bit of that high end. Uh, and that's how we created that amazing sound. Super, super easy, right? And just like that, you learned a bunch of techniques. Now, guys, in this tutorial, this is just like, what, less than a 10 minute serum tutorial. I'm just scratching the surface here. Now, if you actually want to master serum, you actually wanna become an amazing sound designer, you wanna be able to open serum and know exactly what you need to do to create whatever sounds in your head, whatever song, sound that you hear from like a song, you'd be like, man, I wanna recreate that. You could open serum and just recreate that. If you wanna learn how to do that, you wanna master serum, Click the link in the description down below and enroll into my Serum Masterclass right now. Like, this is your time. Because like I said, it is closing down very, very soon. So, listen, if you're on the fence, this is your time. You're protected by a 15-day money-back guarantee, so why are you not enrolling? This is up to you, man. Go ahead and do it right now. Now is your time. And without further ado, guys, this is Shane from Rocket Pirate Sound. I will catch you guys very, very soon in the next Serum tutorial. Love you all. Peace.